Good day to you tarnished bastards. I'm Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video here on Lords of the Fallen. So, in today's little retrospect video, I guess you can call it, uh, I want to take the time to go ahead and discuss basically, hey, look, it's been three months. Where's the game currently at today? Is it in a better place? Is it in a worse place? What has happened in the last three months with Lords of the Fallen? And just where do we think that this is going to be coming here in the future? So for myself, my opinion on this is, is that the game itself, in all honesty, it, it's practically dead. Let's take a, let me go take a look real quick. Like while we're doing this real quick, let me pull up Lords. Lords of the Fallen player account. I mean, Lords of the Fallen, in all honesty, is still somewhat holding its own. There's still, like, new players coming in. But, comparable to other Soul-like games that's out there and such, the game, in all honesty, is showcasing that it's technically dead. Like, it is not, honestly, has gone much anywhere uh current numbers for the game right now on steam itself is just 640 people but roughly i mean it still appears to be that of a like an average of like 600,000 maybe like 600 maybe like 1200 people that's playing this game nothing really substantial in terms of numbers not like Lies of P, not like even Dark Souls getting, you know, closer to like three, four thousand people. Lies of P still getting six, seven thousand people, which actually kind of that's a little that's a little weird. I, I wouldn't expect that game to actually pull that big of a number, but hey. It does. But with the standard game, as it is, after three months, I could tell you that besides the player count, there's been there has been improvements in the game, okay? There has been a shit ton of improvements since the vanilla release. There's been, though, although with those improvements, a lot of what I like to be, like, people are going to say is I'm being negative of, but a lot of problems. The behavioral improvements on this game is not behavioral improvements. There are, there's still artificial inflation. You still got boss's health vi values that's skyrocketing. You know, instead of actually balancing out how a boss should play, their challenge is increase the boss's health. There has been noticeable issues that me and some of the people on the stream and such have noticed compared to the last patch. Um, we had a patch that we were praising the hell out of because it seemed like it was actually focusing and fixing those issues that was roughly related to you know, the actual performance issues in the game. And then all of a sudden we get another update, which supposedly also is apparently fixing that of the uh, issues in the game. But it really wasn't. What, like, I don't know what happened. I, I can't really truly express it, especially on the PC version. Like, I noticed it when I was running my mule. Like the PC version, I was getting originally like on the game itself, like you know, not even not sixty frames per second really, but close to it. Now the game's running like it's at twenty four frames per second, and there's other people in our stream in our community that has the same issue. Don't know what's going on. What I can say is is that the state of this game is in fucking limbo. That is really what I'm going to say. Like. You got people who really love the game, and you got people who really hate the game. You got people that's like, yeah, I'll wait till it hits sale. You got people out there that, you know, there's nothing else coming out. I, I, I'm just going to wait until something else comes out before I go touch another Souls game. So the game is in a limbo. The devs, I don't know if they actually care about the game. I mean, I would think that they do. I would think that they should, but 
it don't seem like they are honestly working on the problems of the game. They're working on what is they consider as the problems, which, okay. And can I hit this guy real quick? Okay, cool. Which, yeah, I mean, that is great and all, but there's got to be a point in this game where you you get the feedback you get the understanding from your fan base like look yo this game's got this issues right here the game's got these performance issues the game's got these issues with the network this game's got these issues with the invading this it the game's got these issues with its own balancing like i still am a person who thinks that you know we need plus one rings and amulets in this game and you know we haven't gotten that I think the game we need to hurry up and get a goddamn stash box going, but that hasn't came in yet. There's things that should have been implemented in this game by now that still has not been implemented. And whether or not it comes is something that we're going to have to find out in the future, I guess. But three months... Compared to what the vanilla game is, I'm going to tell you that the game has some good pros that ended up happening with it. You know, there is some things. The game, even though its performance issues have went basically back downhill, it still plays better than when it was when it first came out. Some of the actual changes when it comes to weapons and uh, weapon buffs and nerfs is pretty nice. But when it comes down to it, we're still in a limbo situation. We don't know what's going to happen with the network. I don't think even the devs know what they're doing with the network. I really don't think because by this time, I would expect, you know, issues like network network play and such would have been addressed by now. That's just me. I mean, I really think that they, it should have been addressed by now. I think that performance-wise, you know, we should be really focusing on this. And whatever changes you guys made in the last in the last update, I I think you need to correct that because a lot of areas now are really kind of shitty. But I mean it's what it is. It's just it's kind of upsetting. I know where people get upset. And I get the upset at the same spot. Like, why are we dealing with this stuff that, you know, should have been already fixed? So, I'm hoping, I'm going to say I am hoping that, you know, future-wise, this game actually gets to become a better game. But in the current state, this is, this is basically your, the game's not bad. Don't get me wrong. The game's not bad. It's a very decent game. This is my, this is what I would introduce anybody who's never played Dark Souls. This is your best introduction because this is the easiest game for Dark Souls, for the Dark Souls series. So if you never got involved in it, hey, play this, you'll have fun. And if you like it, you'll like Dark Souls. That's basically the premise of this game. And that is where the stat right now, my standing on this is, I think the game is not dead, dead. But the game is showing signs of, you know, a good weakening. And hopefully in the future, that will change. But we'll still run the game. We'll still play the game on stream. And we will still look forward to these Thursday updates to run it and see what's happening. And hopefully they'll get the formula Right. I just think that, you know, in the state that the game is right now, three months is a little bit long and you still haven't corrected the actual issues that were happening with the game. So hopefully they'll fix that in the future. But uh, I'll leave it with that, guys. I just wanted to say that I just wanted to actually talk about this a little bit. Tell me what your thoughts is down below in the comments section. Like, where do you think the game's at right now? Do you think the game's in a good state? Where, where is your opinion? Now that's three months. With all the updates, everything that's happened with this game, all the conversations that was going on. Do you agree with me? Do you think the game is just basically stuck in limbo? Or do you think the game's in a different spot than what I'm thinking? 
please leave me a comment about that in below. So until next time, guys, we're going to go ahead and like to say thank you to all our channel members. You guys are what really make this channel keep on going. Um, I do apologize for a little while. I have been out of touch with this game, out of touch with the community some. And that's not your fault. That is like Cox communication and other kind of crap that's been going on that is just been taking my time and making me less interested in playing right now. So I apologize for that. But hey, we're back to live streaming. Things look good. And I tell you what, I'll catch you on the flip side. See you in the next stream. Bye.